Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, we are coming out with one on the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury update, and it comes to find out from the WBC that the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch purse bid has been postponed. Okay, you guys, and this is coming out in a couple of different media outlets, and this is from BoxingNews24.com, where it states, in an effort to get more time to finalize the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch, the purse bid for the fight, which was scheduled to take place on Tuesday, has been postponed for one week by the WBC. The management for Fury and Wilder asked the WBC to have the purse bid postponed so they could work on getting the fight deal done. We have extended for one week the free negotiations. Per their request, WBC President Mauricio Suleiman said to ESPN.com, the Wilder vs. Fury 2 rematch is expected to take place in two to three months in April or May in either Las Vegas, Nevada, or New York. Wilder's manager, Shelly Finkel, is confident that the fight negotiations will get done and there will be no need for a purse bid. Finkel is upbeat about the direction. The negotiations are going in, according to ESPN. A purse bid would work well for Wilder as he would get a 60-40 split of the revenue. If the Wilder vs. Fury 2 fight does go to purse bid, there's a chance that that matchroom boxing promoter Eddie Hearn will bid on the match in hopes of winning it and then placing the fight under zone rather than on Fox or Showtime. The purse bid was scheduled to take place on Tuesday afternoon at the WBC headquarters in Mexico City. It's unclear whether the WBC will grant a second postponement of the purse bid if the two camps are still unable to get the fight negotiated in the seven days that were given. It would obviously be a bad sign if the fight isn't finalized within that seven day period quote now with this news coming out dude it's actually really good news it's actually really good news to hear that the wbc has given them an extension on their negotiations so the fight does not go to purse bid and it's actually really good news in the manner that the fight negotiations are probably going really well and they're probably trying to fine-tune some of the things in the contract just so everybody is happy with the negotiations and they're probably trying to tune up some of the little things that are in the contract just to make sure that both of the parties are happy with the contract and it just goes to show that the negotiations are going good between both of these camps because both of these camps have been very adamant about stating how good the negotiations have been going and it seems like they're working really well together with being able to get this damn thing completed and Deontay Wilder came out not too long ago stating how he said that the fight was going to be announced in two weeks. So if this fight is about to be announced in two weeks and they're already getting a one week extension, I'm pretty sure they're right at the tail end of the negotiations and they're ready to get that damn thing done just so they can start getting things done with the press release, with the promotional tour that they're probably going to end up having for this fight and be a lot more focused on their camps instead of having to deal with all of the negotiations. But this is really good news to hear that they have been given a week extension for this. And I'm pretty sure within the next week or so, they probably will have a done deal at hand. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy. Thank you.